We're here with Stuart White, who has Master Technician status from the ATA Accreditation Scheme. So Stuart, what should buyers be looking for when they look at a used car? Okay, well the first thing I would suggest that buyers look for is the condition of the vehicle, looking at the paint for discoloration and any changes in texture to the paint, uh, any, any damage to the bodywork and particularly the panel fit as well of the body to make sure it's all equal and there's no signs of anything um, suspicious in the way of accident damage to the vehicle. So under the bonnet then Stuart, what should we be looking for here? Okay, so the, so the simple things to look for are any obvious uh, oil and coolant leaks. Um, the oil leak should be fairly obvious, you would have a film of oil uh, on any part of the engine which could be a concern and then also if you've had a coolant leak at all on the vehicle, if it has the vehicle has a coolant leak, that will normally show itself as white marking. On this vehicle there is a small amount around the cap here. The other thing that's worth looking at on a petrol vehicle is the oil, uh, the condition of the oil and the oil should be clear. Um, it will vary on depending on how recently it was changed, but it should have a, a yellowy um, tint to it, but should be basically clear. I'd also look at the oil level on the vehicle, because that indicates how well someone may maintain it. If the oil mm. level's low, it probably means they don't maintain it very well. And if you look at the dipstick on a diesel car, is it right to say that actually the oil could be black, but yeah. the car's running quite healthily. Yeah, on a diesel car, even new oil will blacken very, very quickly. So that test isn't really relevant to a diesel. And what about inside the car then, Stuart? What are the potential problems that you could look for here? Okay, well, I would go through and check everything on the vehicle um, actually works. All the electrical side of things particularly, so electric windows, all your wipers, indicators, heater controls, um, particularly paying attention to the air conditioning, especially if it's winter, but make sure that when you turn the air conditioning on, the air coming out of the system is significantly colder than um, the actual atmospheric temperature. So I would pay particular attention to the warning lights on the dashboard and what they should do is come on as you turn the ignition on and then all extinguish once the vehicle has started. If they don't function correctly, that could point to uh, a significant fault with the vehicle, which could be expensive to repair. And what about clocking then, Stuart? Is that still a problem where people effectively kind of wind the mileage of the car back to make it look like the car has fewer miles? So it does still occur and you should look at the condition of the steering wheel, gear stick, and the seat for any signs of wear that doesn't tally with the vehicle mileage. Thanks Stuart. Now it's time to take a test drive, but before you even set off, make sure that you have adequate insurance cover. If you're insured fully comprehensive, you'll usually be covered third party to drive another car, but only with the owner's permission. So Stuart, what should a potential buyer be looking for when they test drive a used car? They should take the car for a, a good test run over a variety of roads to get a good feel for the car, um, particularly listening out for any noise from the suspension as you go over bumps. Um, also looking at how straight the car drives, um, just holding the steering very, very lightly, making sure the car doesn't pull. You will need a straight flat piece of road to do this. And also whilst doing this, um, pull the car up with the brakes and make sure the brakes don't pull to one side and that you don't get any judder or feeling back through the steering while you're applying the brakes. So making sure that the operation of the clutch feels good and that all the gear changes are smooth and without any noise is also a good thing to look out for. Ideally, a used car should come with a full service history and a folder full of receipts for all work done. Never buy a car without a V5C registration document and check that the owner's name and the car's details match the V5C. Look at the service history, checking that the car's mileage tallies with the record and ensure that the MOT certificate is still valid. A history check from a company such as Experian or HPI will show if the car has outstanding finance or has previously been stolen or written off. It's well worth the £20 or so you'll spend and could save you a lot more in the long run.